Yeah, it, it actually seems to me a lot longer than three years since I started showing up at your doors. Uh, actually, it's about three and a half years ago that uh, I was trying to find a place in the Chicago area to read poems because I live down in Orland Park in the southwest corner of Cook County, which is a dead zone. Uh, there were two poetry readings a month, or a year rather, at Lewis University where I, where I worked. And uh, one day I saw an ad, I can't remember exactly where I saw it, but there was a poet doing a launch reading at a library for one of her books. And uh, I met Donna. Donna introduced me to the Latours and to, uh, to the Buddha and, uh, and to all of you indirectly because of that. So right back at you. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, it's only been three years. It seems like forever. Seems like a long time. Okay, uh, some things from three books that came out this year. Uh, the first one, uh, as most of you know, every April I celebrate National Poetry Month by doing a 30-30 uh, to raise funds for St. Baldrick's in their battle against childhood and adolescent cancers. What I do is I write the poems and people subscribe by donating directly to St. Baldrick's uh, to an account I've got set up there and they get copies of the poem every day for a larger donation, they also get a PDF of the, of the poems at the end of the month. And for a slightly larger donation, they get a chapbook, which is limited edition. And uh, like I say, all the profits go directly to that. So it's, it's something I'm hopefully going to be continuing to do. It's something I'm really pleased about. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather, I'm a great-grandfather, and it's a cause that's very near and dear to my heart. So this is from Poems Against Cancer 2016. We'll read a few of those. Postcard from far away. Rain rolled in from the west, carried on towering clouds, swirling in countless shades of gray. This was before my dinner, when I fed the dogs and the cats. The sun is trying to be seen, hanging low, in the pictures I meant to send. It's just the start of April here. That means it still could snow, maybe a lot, maybe several times. You, on the other hand, will have the hammock out by now and the swing hanging from the tree. The rain is gone now. It hasn't reached you yet. So we both stand in the starry, starry nights. This year's poems, about two-thirds of them were, for this particular volume, uh, ekphrastic. Uh, spent a lot of time looking at far more surrealist art than I probably ever quite realized existed out there in the world, for one thing. And A Message Decanted comes from a number of works by Christian Schlow, who, if I remember correctly, is a Belgian surrealist artist uh, currently practicing the trade. In the night, she exhales dreams of roses, and in their magic, thorns elicit neither pain nor blood beyond her heart's beating. On the shore of another landscape, the man who echoes her lonely wanting bottles the sun, a message only she can read. She waits, naked to what will come, except for a stake that copies her torque and guarantees brighter futures. He, in his turn, stands above the clouds, a gentle man stretching farther still to capture roses in a net of woven love. The bottle comes ashore. She reads the sun, clasps it to warm her breast, sets the moon in its place to send back as a special missive. Birds then settle on a wire, listen to the man who sits among them, book of words on lap, as he tells a story of a woman who dreams. Mm. 
also from Christian Schloh's work, uh, in this case a painting called Miracle, uh, a woman embraced by a snake. Walking the prairie path home, thinking only about fixing dinner, she almost missed him, basking, possibly thinking of dinner himself. Slowly she approached him, circling, and cautiously he wrapped himself loosely at her waist while stretching under hooded gaze for what? Long neck, throbbing pulse, red lips that promise other pulses. He has already worked past her heart, leaving her defenseless and wanting. Lily almost regrets staying home the day they studied snakes in high school. But there's a certain thrill, core deep, in waiting for what comes next. And uh, it's called Wish Carefully. If I got paid more, I could buy myself a car. If I could buy myself a car, I wouldn't need a bike. And if I didn't need a bike, you wouldn't have this poem written about a photograph I took of my blue bike. <laughs> Back in, oh, I guess it was August, I finally put together a, a micro chapbook of some poems that were inspired by things that the Virginia poet Mary Carol Hackett had said online about her relationship with her now deceased husband. Uh, he's been gone for I want to say it's three or four years now, uh, but uh, he's still very much alive at the same time as far as she's concerned. Magdalena, love, and the bear. She comes in from the garden as the rain decides to be more than mist. Her sturdy feet, the knuckles and lifeline of her hands, wear the beauty of hard, honest labor in the soil. Tendrils of hair fall across her face, rubbing against the smudges left on nose and cheeks where she tried to brush them back. I'm a dirty old woman, she says, and he laughs around a smile at the paired meanings, at the thought of growing old with her. She settles on the couch, stretching like the cat that yields in its place. He rises from the rocker handed down through the women in her family, goes to the kitchen, and hums an old love song she taught him as he fills a basin with warm water, lavender soap, a cloth. Coming back to her, he kneels on the worn wood of the floor and begins to wash the dark earth from her feet. It's her turn to smile, and she does. And. Shelter, one. She dreams about her husband in some deep night place where golden memories must take her, might sadden, but can't really hurt. They live in pioneer style, simple house, animals and children mixing in the yard, crops sufficient to their needs, and so much love that struggles are eclipsed. He sings to her now, in death as in life. At every opportunity, his voice echoes, and even friends who don't believe in heaven would testify that's where his music comes from. Two. Their man-child wanders the house, minstrel singing his own doggerel in the French that she taught him while sitting at the kitchen table paring potatoes, cutting garden-picked tomatoes, chopping lettuce from the next row of turned earth over. The garden she tends still grows. The harvest won't be done for years, probably long after she leaves this place to grandchildren not yet fully conceived. But she sees her husband and their son, sees the future she now shapes alone, and thinks the world might be saved. Three. 
spring is here. Red wings sing new dawns. The April sun takes the snow away, softens the aches in early 50s bones, and now it's time to do a little cleaning in the car. Tucked between the seats, not yet faded from too many years, a simple note that takes her by surprise and makes her entire being smile. I'd go through all that shit again if it still led to you. She reads it twice and holds it close before the first tear falls. Um, I've probably written 50 or 60 prose poems over the last last decade or so. Uh, I'm not a non-fan of the medium. I'm, I'm not a, necessarily a fan of it. Uh, it just seems to suit some pieces of work better than others. And uh, the things from Jasmine are collected from that kind of stuff. Lilith. There is a lightning in the high clouds to the north but distance cancels the thunder. The flashes reach me, but the cycle is incomplete. The sky turns darker, eclipses the healing moon and stars. I am the first emigre, the first immigrant woman. I leave as a stranger, I arrive the same, with no husband, no sons, the cycle is incomplete. The clouds roll closer. The air cools and turns electric. My daughters and I speak our only language and are damned for it. We eat the only food we know and we are cursed. We would belong, but the cycle is incomplete. The distance closes. Thunder makes the children turn in their sleep. My labor is required, but undervalued. My wisdom is needed, but not sought. Our bodies are desired, then discarded, and the cycle is incomplete. Silence drops, is suddenly carried away by a thousand fingers drumming. The rain falls, warm and soft, carrying hope and salvation, but the ground is hard. The promise is rejected, flows in gutters. The cycle is incomplete. I, uh, I make no claims at all to being a slam poet. But uh, back in 2013, as Johnson at Writing Nights Press in Cleveland, one of my editors, uh, was doing a 30-30 for Poetry Month, and uh, SLAM was one of the prompts. So within 24 hours, uh, my life is a poem, and I've just been slammed. <laughs> you want anger dripping from the stage in big Mississippi River flooded stage rivulets like Greasy, grimy, corporate gopher guts. You want I should slap, whap, wrap you side your head like Ginsburg's Dharma hitting a bridge abutment, 80 miles an hour at 4 in the morning, high on mescaline and crazed cerebral convolutions, conversations with themselves. You want me to rip the cable channels from the wall to fulfill this ancient prophecy that the revolution will not be televised, will not be supersized, and won't be whatever else I can find to ad lib rhyme in a diatribe. And you want this without pause to draw a breath, to rub a shoulder sore from windmilling, or grab an elbow that banged into the F-bombing open mic. And God damn, that hurts. <laughs> We're not done. We're not done. The, pa the page was just sticking. Let's have some truth right here, if not at the beginning, then at least some point before the end. I'm good and pissed. Yaman, yes, my brother, oh, be sure, my sister, my lover, my loving mother, filled with holy anger that consumes me wholly if 
that turn of phrase isn't too academic for this poem. But it's not what you might be thinking if you're still thinking, choking while you're drinking in my dust on this unpaved dirt road main street. I'm in my late 60s, not my teens or 20s. Good-looking women call me dear, just like they do your grandpa, who I'm old enough to be. I take a dozen drugs a day that all make methamphetamine sound easy to say. And the pity is, they're all legal. And no fun at all except for keeping me in some place one piece instead of scattered, splattered, tattered across the cosmos like I used to be. I can't get pissed on cheap red wine no more, because if I do, my prostate like a golf ball wakes up angry in the middle of the night, and then I am really pissed. You want dharma? Karma drama? I'm not the FNG, the fucking new guy anymore. I'm just some freaking old guy living in a fog. <laughs> I will never be Charlie Newman. <laughs> never. Which is good. It's, you know, let him wear that crown. Because I'm out of breath. Uh, another one of the prompts that Az handed out with jazz. And uh, I would get the prompts at midnight. And I would be up until 2, 3 in the morning figuring out what the hell am I going to say about this word. And then I'd spend the day writing the poem and I'd send it off to as. So one night the prompt was jazz. Jazz me. Start me deep with jungle rhythms, add sugar cane and soils containing languages we'll learn to soon discard. Give me baptism by fires in the darkest of the night and then escape with me while our others wallow, while our others follow missionary tracks and black moats noted on white sheets. We will fix on fusion. We will find the star stuff in each free improvisation. I will riff your body with my fingers, bring forth emanations with my lips while you pluck counter notes, and see us off this stage beyond percussive endings, deep into God. And... Finally, gracias a ella, which translates both as thanks to her and uh, as because of her. If not for her, he could have forgotten love. Instead, he still remembers, wittingly, the completion of shattered continents, tying lonely sea, sea coasts together by way of the landlocked heartland brings mountain snows to dry lake beds. How could this seem so simple? And when she left, saying nothing the least bit unexpected, why did none of her fade become less than real? A found photograph is as surprising as his reaction. The gratitude at seeing the open-ended intertwined translations of formula. Thanks to, times because of, divided by her. Thank you. Well, let's hear it again for Eric.